So Shonen Jump is gearing up for their 50th year celebration, their anniversary, and it's like, holy shit, for starters, 50 years of Shonen Jump, congrats. I mean, a lot of things don't last 50 years, but Shonen Jump has continued through time after time, generation after generation to get to this point. So kudos to them. And in honor with the celebration, what they're going to be doing is they're going to be launching a game. Unfortunately, for people that did enjoy or liked or even thought the concept of it was cool, it will not be a J-Stars Victory Versus 2. I know a lot of people dislike that game because of the mechanics and stuff like that. Personally, even though I can recognize and understand, yeah, it's not that great of a game as far as the way it, you know, made and whatnot. But it's one of my favorite games of all time. I just have so much fun, especially... When you play with some friends that are knowledgeable about, you know, shonen anime and manga, and you playing that game, it just takes you to a whole other place. It's almost as if it really immerses you as if you're reading or, or watching a manga or an anime, because you get to play with some of your favorite characters and whatnot. You get to have Goku, Vegeta, fucking Naruto, Oga Tatsumi, uh, Tsunayoshi Sawada. You just have so many characters from so many series combined. So I love the concept of J-Star's Victory Versus 2. Unfortunately, what they announced is not that and I'm disappointed I ain't gonna lie I mean I expected it because even though it did decent in sales it wasn't enough and I'm imagining the licensing rights and all that shit must be a nightmare so no J-Stars Victory Versus 2 however we are getting a drum roll please smartphone game which <sighs> I play a lot of smartphone games and pretty soon here on the channel within the next week or two you're gonna see me playing even more smartphone games kind of cool little stuff that I've been finding but it's a smartphone game in the style of, I guess, in a way, J-Stars regarding, like, having multiple different characters from different series. I'll read a little bit about it, and we'll talk some more. But, honestly, getting that over J-Stars, I would take a J-Stars 2 over this. But I'm still a little bit excited, I'm not gonna lie. But, yeah, let's read. This year's June issue of Shueisha's V-Jump magazine revealed on Friday that Weekly Shonen Jump and Bandai Namco Entertainment are launching a smartphone game titled Weekly Shonen Jump Ore Collection, a.k.a. Weekly Shonen Jump My Collection this summer. Namco Bandai Entertainment also opened a website for the game. In the card battle game, players collect cards from two types of cards to create their own deck. The two types of cards are character cards and scene cards. The character cards each feature special moves and the scene cards can be used to power up the character cards. All the cards feature characters from past and current manga series and weekly Shonen Jump. And then we got a little image here of some characters from different series. Obviously that's Kenshin from Moroni Kenshin, Yusuke Yuramesh from Yu Yu Hakusho. I believe that's Nube Sensei. I can't remember what's the name of his series. And there's a couple other characters there. I can't really remember what's that dude's name. But anyways, we have a couple of images. So it's showing that, yeah, it is going to have some of the old timers. And then we also see some scene cards, which the scene cards are kind of cooler to me because they're seemingly manga panels. You got one from Yu Yu Hakusho. You even got Bleach in there. You have a uh, Dragon Ball, OG Dragon Ball. So a lot of cool stuff there. And again, the game is celebrating the 50th anniversary of Weekly Shonen Jump Magazine. And the game will be free to play. But but in-game items will cost extra. No word on whether or not this will get a localization. To be honest with you, the fact that J-Stars didn't do so astronomical over here, I doubt it will. But we can keep our fingers crossed. And regardless, I'm going to check out the JP version and hopefully be able to navigate through it if it's simple enough. Because I do want to play it. I ain't going to lie. Like, me as a big Shonen Jump fan, especially if you've been following me for years, I've covered most of them. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't do it weekly, at the very least, I talked about it here or there from, you know, the, of course, Dragon balls and narutos to even toriko like i'm a huge shonen jump fan so stuff like this is for people like me and if you're the same type of person where you just love shonen manga in general then it's for you and you can have a great time with it again sad that it's not j stars 2 because i really love that game especially if they could have fixed all the mechanics and all the problems of j stars 1 and add a bigger roster that would have been insane but i'm hoping too because again with licensing fees and all that shit even though it's all under the shueisha umbrella you know some companies might want to be dicks like uh you know for example toei because they have some licensing agreements for one piece might not necessarily want naruto or bleach or another series to be associated so i'm imagining that's a bit of a headache as well 
but hopefully they have old timers, which seemingly they do, of course. Use K or Meshi there and, you know, Kenshin, Himura Kenshin. But I want some, you know, let's get Academia in there. Let's get Black Clover. Let's get some Promise Neverland. I want all of them because, again, this sounds like this is something for people like myself and people that just love Shonen, especially Shonen Jump series as a whole. And I'm like, it's not J Source 2, but I'll still take it and I'm going to rock that game. So expect me to be doing some gameplay on it and having a good time whenever it drops. Kind of curious what you guys think about this are you disappointed are you glad do you not care again a lot of people don't like j star so a j stars 2 wasn't a big deal to them obviously different from me and as far as it being a mobile game you know similar to like the dokkan battles and stuff like that i'm imagining especially with all the money they have to pay in order to license things it's probably not going to be the greatest game in the world because yeah i don't see them having like characters and all sorts of shit but you never know i mean i'd fucking be excited as hell to have a team of like some of my all-time favorites get you K in there, get fucking Kid Goku. Oh my. Yeah, I I'm getting too excited talking about this. And your overall thoughts of this, not J Stars, but I'll take it, whatever. But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fanab World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.